So now that we learned all those fun lines, we're going to do a rainbow painting. But before we start with our painting, we have to make our lines. Now, if you look at these, I have zigzag lines, I have wavy lines, I have dashes, I have horizontal lines, diagonal lines, curvy lines, spiral lines, vertical lines. We have all these different lines. Now you're gonna use an oil pastel. An oil pastel is like a souped up crayon to make our lines. Now your lines do not have to be in the same order as mine are. They can be in whatever order you would like them to be, but you're gonna go from one side to the other side of your paper. So put your paper vertical, which is up and down, and now we're gonna make our lines. So you could do some zigzag lines, but go all the way across. Don't stop at the edge before the edge of the paper. We could do some spiral lines. Don't stop here. You have to go all the way to the edge. We could do horizontal lines. We could do dashes. We could do diagonal lines. Take your time, but you wanna fill up your whole paper with different kinds of lines. You could even repeat a line, meaning you could do it again. So using that oil pastel, I want you to fill up your whole paper with different lines. Now that we've got our paper filled up with lines, today we're going to paint those lines. Now these are called temper paints and they're a cake paint which means they're not wet and we have to add water to them. Now we're going to do it in rainbow order. So remember we're going to start with the red and we're going to paint across the whole thing and you can go right over your oil pastel and it's going to still show. So color right across. So what comes after red? That's right, we have orange. And remember, you're going to paint from one side all the way to the other side of your paper. We don't want to leave white spots. Then we're going to do yellow. And we're going to keep going all the way down. The rainbow. Now comes green. And remember, you need water on these and you're gonna go back and forth and cover the whole paper, the whole paper. After green comes blue. And then after blue, we have a dark blue called indigo. So then we're gonna do the dark blue or the indigo. And I'm going a little fast on mine. You're gonna take a little bit more time and do a really nice job on these. And then our last color is violet. And violet's a purple. So we're gonna do that at the end. Now you're gonna fill your whole paper up with beautiful color. Now what happens if you were doing this, but you went through all your rainbow colors and you still had more paper. What if you did all your rainbow colors and ended here? Well, then you just repeat them again. See how I went red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple, and then I had more space. So I did red, orange, and yellow, and green. You just repeat it until you've got your whole paper colored in. So I cannot wait to see what your rainbow painting looks like.